Welcome to this uh, Windows and Computer channel. And of course, today we are Wednesday, January 15th, 2020. The first day of Windows 7 now being on its own without any more updates for the future. Um, so, of course, there's a lot of comments and a lot of things on the channel that are talked about. Uh, a lot of people saying, oh, well, you can use it for years and it won't be a problem. And so here's the, th this video is about why you shouldn't stay on Windows 7. Then I'll have another one that will talk about if you do stay on Windows 7, uh, several things to just be careful. So we'll have both here. So first of all, if you're on Windows 7, you should move to Windows 10. Um, a lot of people are asking me, well, I see all these people having problems. Honestly, there's no more people having problems on Windows 10 than Windows 7. If you look at the threads of people having problems on Windows 7, there are tons of them. And it's pretty much the same background noise, meaning there's as many people that have problems on Windows 7, there are people having problems on Windows 10. It's part of the background noise. It's part of there are and there will always be people that have issues. And, you know, a lot of these issues are due to third party software, non updated drivers or just the way the computer is being used. And um, you may be infected with something or there's a lot of possibilities and that you got to remember as a tech guy for 20 years, I can tell you one thing. So many things can happen and make Windows go bad, but it's not Windows fault. 90% of the time, it's some other software, it's an antivirus, it's a driver that's not updated in the machine that makes it bad. It could even be the computer itself that just doesn't work well for some reason. Uh, but the most part is often uh, drivers, especially from people that move from an old computer to a new Windows 10 install. Sometimes it could happen that a driver that's not well made for Windows 10 actually crashes Windows 10. But that's the problem of third party. It's the problem of the company that makes the hardware, not Windows. That said, the majority of people that move from Windows 7 to Windows 10 have a great experience. The majority of people that move to Windows 10 like it, actually. And this is the, uh, the thing that you got to understand. Remember, you might say, well, why are there so many people complaining about Windows 10? having problems remember that the only problem the only people that that actually talk about windows 10 are the ones that complain that you got to understand if you have a problem you'll go online and say hey i it doesn't work well um where people that don't have problems don't actually voice their i don't have problems if they would there would be an overwhelming uh majority that would say i got windows 10 i got no problems you should move on to Windows 10. Why? Because Windows 7 will be unsecure. And that's the straight dope. I mean, there's no way you can make it secure. There's nothing you can actually install. No antivirus. No nothing that will keep you safe on Windows 7. A lot of the posts of people saying, well, I'm going to use Windows 7 and uh, it's fine. Just don't panic. Well, it's not fine because the security flaws that will actually be in Windows 7, there's nothing you can do about it to prevent an infection. If you go to a website that is actually has a problem, well, you know what? If a website has been spoofed, is a, web, a website has been injected with some malware, and you know what? Every week, tons of perfectly normal websites that people go to that are not maintained well enough get injected with malware, ransomware, that exploit security flaws. And that means these websites are the ones that are going to infect Windows. And Windows 7 will be, of course, really targeted for a while because it's still about 26% of all computers. That's a lot of machines. So Windows 7 will have an intense moment in the next year where bad guys are going to focus on it. So that means you are unsecure and you should not be using Windows 7 past this date. You should be looking at alternatives, whatever they are, but Windows 10. And of course, Windows 10 upgrade is free. I'll post another video 
We'll have these series of videos right now, but we'll move away from Windows 7 videos, as these are the last videos that will actually have information as to Windows 7 by itself, as we're moving away. Unless something unusual happens, un unless some huge security flaw happens that maybe it would be important to tell everybody, uh, you know, we're not going to do Windows 7 videos eternally. This is a channel where we're moving on to the future. So whatever you do, uh, you won't be safe. Windows 7 is going to have more and more security flaws. Not today. We're January 15th. You just had Patch Tuesday. You just had the known security flaws fixed. So right now, unless some security flaw that somebody knows somewhere that wasn't disclosed, um, you're re relatively safe with Windows 7 for the next you know few weeks probably. But next Patch Tuesday coming February, that's where it's going to start being rock and roll because that will disclose security flaws. Bad guys will understand which ones are also affecting Windows 7. And that means there is going to be the start of the real problems for security. So the big answer is, should I keep you know, Windows 7? Should I still use it? No. Can I be safe on it? No. It's as simple as that. And that's the real answer. Uh, you know, you can read whatever you want from other people saying, no, it's a big hype and there's no... Well, if you think it's a big hype, you don't really understand what security is all about on computers. I can tell you that. Because one of the first things any tech guy will tell you is updates are important for security. And now you don't have any more. You're already... The most important rule is already gone. So, of course, that also means that danger is coming ahead with Windows 7 if you keep using it. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.